Hi guys, sorry I've been a bit rubbish this week with uh, my video updates. Um, I've had a couple of things go wrong. I've had uh, the truck broke down um, end of last week, so I've had that dropped off. So that's delaying us delivering kits. Uh, we've also, we're still waiting on a few bits of glass as well. Just every so often a stillage is dropped or you know a fault lift goes into a stillage at the manufacturer and that seems to damage things and just cause a few delays. Unfortunately with glass, you can't avoid it. And everyone uses the same kind of top four manufacturers. So it doesn't matter who you go with. Most people that you go with are, are just agents really. So, um, what I'm going to do, a quick little video today. I've got my top secret MS300 liner sample. Now, if I'm happy with this over the next few days, I'm going to be ordering about a ton and a half of it, which isn't very cheap. Um, it's going to retail around, I can't remember, I think it was, it was about £140, £150 um, for an eight kilogram tub. And that should do, depending on the substrate, how smooth it is and everything, should do between five and eight um, square meters. So we'll only know once we actually get testing on big quantities, what the kind of average square meter ridge is. Um, obviously using a 300 mil bottle is just gonna give us an idea of what 300 mil does. Eight kilo tub, it's a completely different story, isn't it, once you get out there and start doing stuff. So what I'm gonna do, they told me they don't think it's gonna be suitable for a brush, but I've already brought, bought a brush, so I'm gonna give it a go. I've got a bit of OSB in the back there that you can see. Um, what I'm gonna do first is just a bit of a close-up video. I'm gonna do a line of the, the top secret stuff on this side, and I'm gonna use bog standard MS300 on the right side. And then I'm gonna do, um, well, I'll get two blocks actually. I'll do one using the trowel, one using a brush, and if it rushes at all, I might even try using a roller to see what that's like, but I don't think the roller is going to be any good at all. So not very good camera skills talking behind that sealant then. Um, so I'm going to get another block. So I'll, I'll put that up there next to her. I'll get a little pen and write down which one's which. So this is, I'll put, I'll put top secret there, because obviously no one knows about this, and I'll just put MS300 there, so I know that's the bog, bog standard side, and that's the new side. So I can't get confused now, so what I'm going to do, load up, I've already cut the tube, it looks the same on first first sort of inspection. They said it'd be a bit smelly. And to be fair, it is a bit smelly compared to the other stuff. I've got the details breakdown of what exactly is included in it. But I've not got that with me because I'm not a chemist. It won't really make sense to me. So that's got no odour whatsoever. It's got a very slight one, a bit sort of a chalky smell to the to this, similar to other other sealants of the same grade. So let's see. First of all, I'm going to use bog standard MS300. So fill the little nozzle. That's what it looks like when it comes out. So we'll just do a line of it there. That's MS300. Not that viscous really at this time of the year. It's nice and it's nice and fluid, so uh, it's good because we're using it. We can use this down to five degrees Celsius. Other sealants, if you try doing it at five degrees Celsius, it'll be like trying to push out fudge or something. It can be really bad. But this is supposed to be a lot more thin. So let's see what this is like. Now you can tell the difference actually. Whoa, it's a bit pongy. Not ridiculously, but it's got a bit of an odour. So it's come out 
less well this comes out in bumps this hasn't held its sh shape as well so that's promising so let's let's give the trowel the all go so i'm going to use yeah what i'll do is i'll use the right side and then i'll use the left side because otherwise we're mixing it together and we don't want to do that so i'll just do it So I wasn't applying much pressure at all. You get a nice kind of flat, flat shiny surface, similar to the, the pond that I did in my garage. Get rid of this excess on the side of it. Right. Now, same with this, see if it goes through any thinner. Yeah, that, okay, that went, that was a lot faster. It didn't feel as thick at all. There is definitely a difference. So it's nice and easy to spread. That's got a bit more of a smell now. But it's not like ridiculous. It's not bad, as bad as fiberglass in. So with this, I can do nice quick strokes. With this stuff, when I was doing it in my garage, I wasn't able to do because it start. I can feel it pulling as I'm doing it. It doesn't spread as easy. Ugh. So I can feel it pulling, and it start. Yeah, it's just not as smooth. Whereas that will go much further. I'll be able to get that much thinner, and as long as you can, as long as you can only see that colour. I don't think you'd be right, but that's what they look like there. What I might do actually, stick a little block of wood on there and see if it's an absolute pain to get it off. I'll get two little blocks. Let's see, is this a spare one? It is. So I'll stick that, stick that there, give it a little wiggle, just like when you're fitting tiles. And then I'll get this one. So this is on the MS300. Give it a little wiggle. And stick that there, so we'll see what that's like. But I reckon that top secret stuff that no one knows about, I reckon that will, I reckon that'll brush. Yeah, so it's starting to move a little bit, so it needs a bit longer to give it a bit of time to go off. But we'll do that and then we can stick this on its side later and we'll see if that holds its shape. See if them, them two start falling down or not. Don't get it on your hands. Ugh, I'll be there for weeks. Right, so I'm just going to clean this trowel off. Because I'm going to do a bigger area on there. I'm going to see what the rest of the tube will do on there. First thing I'm going to try is a roller actually, I've decided, made through the executive decision. So this is a, it's like a, a soft pile roller, it's like a finishing finishing roller for fiberglassing. But we don't want to be fiberglassing anymore because I actually absolutely hate it. Leave that to people who do it for a living. So, yeah it doesn't look very good when you roll it. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're all right. Roller in is a no-go. So that's going in the bin. Same stuff with a brush. Mm, if you paint it really slowly, it kind of does it. But your brush is just going to be absolutely gone. It feels like when you're putting on top coat, it feels like the, the top coat's gone too far gone that's what it feels like same sort of consistency and you don't want to finish like that with loads of lines in it either so you won't be able to get 
I don't think you get a good finish with that. So that's going in the bin. All right, so what we're going to do is we have a, we've got another business that we've, we've had some dealings with who are going to have a couple of the tubes to do some of their testing because they'll use it for things like roofing and stuff like that. Uh, we don't use it for roofing because we do ponds, not roofs. Uh, but um, if, it can, if it can be used in more than one application, that'd be absolutely amazing. Um, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to stick this outside. So I'm going to put this outside. I'm going to see what this looks like after it's been rained on, after the weather's had a go at it, uh, the sun's been on it and all that. See if there's any, any noticeable difference between the two. Okay, so I was about to pack up and go, and then I thought, I started measuring this one. I was like, I wonder how many square meters this is. And then I thought, it's two pieced up. I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. So on the left hand side, I got a permanent marker and a grew, a drew, not grew, a drew a square meter. And this is what I managed. So it took me two minutes. So I've done a line here, so that's a meter down, and that's a meter across. So that's one square meter, and this has come down 60 centimeters so 300 mil of product will give you about 60 0.6 square meter coverage so if you say uh, 600 mil per square meter then that's you know that's that's a relatively thin coat you can still see the the wood grain but look how shiny that is beautiful um obviously a lot better than that side so what i'm going to do is going to try and take this outside because it just started absolutely like lashing it down um I'm going to leave that outside over the weekend. Um, it's not gone off yet, but that don't matter because it's waterproof out the tube, isn't it? That's the whole point of uh, MS300. So this, this is what I did before. I'm not sure if you could tell what it was like when I was applying it, because you know, it's hard to kind of portray. Oh, this feels smooth, or that, that feels quite thick. Um, but this is, it's gone tacky already. It's not, it's not sticking on my finger. Let's see what this side's like. Ooh. So that's not going off. So this is going off faster than that stuff. So, let's see if the top secret stuff, that one, is strong enough. Yeah, that's going off a little fast, that. What the hell? Yeah, so, give it a little Yeah, that's good, that. <laughs> right, so, uh, top secret. Even, you know, it goes off even, well, it goes off faster than MS, MS 300. Um, because that, because it's not gone off, that'll just, that won't hold. I don't, I bet. Yeah, that's not gone off yet. If I put that back, that will bond uh, once it's had a chance to go off. It's been 15 minutes and, you know, these are quite, quite heavy blocks really. I'm very surprised that that held, if I'm being honest. But that's good. So yeah, I'm going to get this outside then. Let's try and, ooh. Can you hear the thunder? I need to get get out of there quick.